We're gonna show you a tiny home being built in three weeks from our partners at Drop Structures. My girlfriend Lynn and I are building a micro tiny home resort in a place called Idaho City, Idaho. It's an awesome little town 45 minutes from Boise, and it's basically at the base of the Boise National Forest, which heads up into some beautiful backcountry. We chose Drop Structures to be our builder while we set out on our own mission take on the main commercial building, the demolition of the existing mobile homes, and the landscaping that's situated on about two acres. It's a huge work in progress for us, and we've learned a ton already. While we've been working hard on that, and having to wait and let winter run its course on certain things, our builder, Drop Structures, has been hard at work in negative 30 degree temperatures in Lethbridge, Canada, albeit from the warmth of their huge warehouse. So with that, let's get rolling on how they build these, and what it looks like, and how quick they work. What you'll see in this video is our first structure that took about three weeks from start to finish as it's now being wrapped and prepped for shipping. They start with the trusses, they get it all flat packed in, and with that, it's pretty ready to roll. My biggest complaint at this point was Corey filming in vertical mode, but we chatted about that and got that resolved for future videos. And just like that, it's taking shape. And then there were three. Check this out. Got progress the first one so at the end of week one they had three units up and going into the second week they were ready for electrical and flooring and now you can really get a feel of the bathroom space here it is gonna be huge so midway through week two you can see they had electrical in framing the interior and where Lynn decided to customize our specific units was to have a full bathroom that included a sink so that our guests would have that full bathroom versus having to come back to the kitchen to use the sink. As you can see, the spray foam insulation is just one of those small details that adds up into making a better constructed home rather than using your typical fiberglass insulation. So we were in the end of the second week and ironically it was this video that Corey sent me that seemed harmless, but on close scrutiny, Lynn realized that the base where it looked like they were mounting the fireplace was dead center from where the couch was gonna be on the opposite side. And we now have not only three structures for you, but a fourth one is underway. So here's the fourth one that we just started. So they're at drywall, mudding and taping. So you've got this beautiful side window, the skylight, the full window in the loft, all the LED lights. And I wanted to show you the bathroom space here, which is pretty phenomenal. So huge shower, all tiled, glass doors, big window letting in lots of light and then your toilet and sink so this is where we are as of today now walking towards the front you'll see that full front glass as i rechecked the blueprints i realized that what had gotten missed is the fact that we had seen the electric wall heater on the diagram on the blueprint and mistakenly thought that was going to be the fireplace it was a bit of a crisis and required some rerouting but the guys at drop were really great about redesigning it so that we could still mount our tv dead center from the couch and off centering the grizzly wood fireplace. So going into the third week, it's pretty self-explanatory how quickly they were working here. Drywalled up and now you really got to see pretty clearly how these were gonna look like. Up to the loft we go. You got that full glass in the back, the skylight. The loft is all done in Baltic birch. And then finally to the bathroom space, which is just turning out incredible. So you've got your vanity here with the tile and then check out the shower space. So midway through the week, they had the fronts in that are comprised mostly of glass and it was now very real and we're stoked to see the steel siding and the carbon color going on the exterior. And looks phenomenal. And with that, I'll wrap up the show with our main star and the face behind the voice, Corey Ginther at Drop Structures. Hi, this is Corey, your tour guide for this exciting project and phase one is almost complete. As you can see, the deck is now fully stained. The LED lights are hooked up and running. Come on in to some of the projects we made inside. Excuse the mess, but as you can see, we're doing final paint touch-ups. The Grizzly cubic wood burning stove is in. The flooring is in. We've just got it covered to protect it. The kitchenette with the countertop. All the backsplash. It is looking absolutely amazing. And of course, one of the future presentations will be this luxury three-piece bathroom. We've got a sink with quartz counters, a toilet, and check out the shower. All tiled, glass doors. This entire structure is gonna be a thing of beauty. 
all in three weeks. So now we get to go into panic mode knowing we have no foundation set for these. We've got to completely redo the existing sewer and water and retrench electric as they're headed to Idaho already one by one. And we're still sitting at four feet of snow. Yeah, fun times. YouTube said you'd like this video next. Let's see if they're right. Peace.